Welcome back to another one of Nathan Bell's commentary videos. We're heading up to 100 and uh, Nate wants to talk to you today about love. Yeah, well, I've always been a big believer in the power of love. Like, for many years, as a part of my graffiti chalk bombardment of Newcastle, I would go around writing love and peace on the ground with chalk everywhere I could. I did it all over Newcastle. And that was just to, like, reinforce positivity in people's minds. You know, it's my, my positive brainwashing. I'm always out there brainwashing people, conquering the world. You know, if I write love a hundred times on the ground, a hundred people will have a good day because they walked by and they saw love on the ground and it made them feel happy. Joy to the world. So that's what I'm always trying to do. Um, but, you know, I think... You know, really, when you think about it, love is just the result of chemicals in our brain and, and like, psychological processes. Um, but I do think love has a metaphysical power. Like, I don't want to deny the power of love. Um, so I think, you know, I think all of our thoughts and feelings, really, at the end of the day, are the result of chemicals reacting in our brains. And it's more of a, almost a mathematical process of... Um, and, and our brain's just operating like a computer... Uh, and we're governed by our chemicals and, and, and a sudden change in chemicals can change your thoughts about an issue, you know. Um, so, so, you know, so how we feel attachment to others um, is interesting, but really it's, you know, and I sometimes wonder whether our sense of attachment to others has more to do with uh, subconscious decisions about who we should reproduce with and whether, a per and whether we develop a feeling of attachment and love for someone who we subconsciously, our, our instincts are telling us this person is a suitable mate to reproduce with and, and we will carry on our genes. Is that the driver behind a sense of attachment to others? Is it more of a calculated, primitive, instinctual thing which makes us develop a sense of attachment to others? Uh, that would be depressing, but some people would certainly argue that that's what is governing our sense of having love and attachment to others. Um, so, you know, but I do think love has a very strong um, metaphysical power uh, and that experience of love that we have, uh, that experience of love that we have can lead us to do great positive things for others and those who are very compassionate and driven by compassion and a sense of concern for the welfare of others and uh, those who have a sense that they want good for the world um, that's all this abstract notion of love isn't it it's all this abstract notion of love wanting to bring love into the world what does that mean wanting to bring love into the world what is love is that is that caring for people's welfare? Is that uh, 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 fighting poverty? What is it to bring love into the world? It's a bit of an abstract notion. But that force, that sense of love, has a very real power in the world. Uh, it's like because it motivates people's behaviour. Many people's behaviour is motivated by a sense of love and attachment to others. Uh, so it drives them to make decisions in the world and it drives their decision making and, and usually love um, and ideas of love and compassion and empathy tend to drive people to make decisions which have a positive impact on others. Um, but you could also argue, I, I, I'd have to find a historical example, but I wonder if any wars have been fought in the name of love. You know, the, the you know, imagine the circumstances that can arise where someone's struck by overpowering, overwhelming love my, who is in charge of a power, powerful military uh, finds that as a motive to go and wreak havoc on someone else for some reason. Yeah, I'm sure there's a scenario where that could arise. Um, so love is a powerful, can be a negative motivator as well, I think, and love can come with feelings of jealousy if love is not reciprocated um, and jealousy and resentment, which can motivate people to make very bad decisions that affect others negatively. Um, but overwhelmingly, I, I, love is definitely what I call a metaphysical force because love doesn't really exist. It's just chemicals in your brain saying, oh, uh, you know, and I wonder how much of love is like smell based. Like, do we develop feelings of attachment to others based on smells and scents that we don't pick up on consciously, but subconsciously we're picking up on pheromones and scents? Uh, I don't know what the facts are about that. You have to do some reading about it. Is that a part of it? But really love is just a bunch of processes happening in our brain computers 
in our brains, which are like computers. It's just a bunch of processes of decision making, saying, "Oh, this is a suitable decision. This person appeals to shows this behaviour, and that is suitable behaviour. So that person is appropriate to be with." It's just a process happening in our brains, but it definitely has a very real effect on the universe. So that's why I say love is a metaphysical force because it doesn't exist in a tangible way it's more of an abstract idea but the impact that decisions made based on senses of love and attachment have on the world uh, is huge and love drives mo and motivates people to do great wonderful works of charity and compassion and giving in the world so it's a metaphysical force um, so you know so there's a few thoughts about love and what I think about love and I'll always promote the power of positivity. I'm very big on positivity and I'm and trying to bring good, happy feelings and actions into the world and I fancy myself a bit of a love warrior. That's why, as I said, I've gone around and wrote love on the ground everywhere so that everyone who sees that thinks about love for the day and I hopefully I can bring some positivity and happiness into people's lives with my questionably legal chalk graffiti um, so I believe in the power of love um, so drop a comment in the comment section about whether you believe in the power of love <laughs>